the law of one. Unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 19. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. I have been thinking over the scope of this book and will read this that I have thought. We are concerned in this communication with the evolution of mind, body and spirit. I would like to fully investigate through questioning the mechanism of evolution in order to allow those interested individuals to participate in their own evolution. It seems to me that a good place to start would be the transition from the second to third density, then to investigate in detail the evolution of third density entities of Earth, paying particular attention to the mechanisms which help or hinder that evolution. This is my intent for direction of this working session. I hope that this is a correct direction. What I would like to know first is do all entities make a transition from second to third density, or are there some other entities who have never gone through this transition? I am raw. Your question presumes the space-time continuum understandings of the intelligent energy which animates your illusion. Within the context of this illusion we may say that there are some which do not transform from one particular density to another, for the continuum is finite. In the understanding which we have of the universe or creation as one infinite being, its heart beating as alive in its own intelligent energy, it merely is one beat of the heart of this intelligence from creation to creation. In this context each and every entity of consciousness has his will experienced experiencing experience each and every density. Questioner, Let's take the point at which an individualized entity of second density is ready for transition to third. Is this second density being what we would call animal? I am raw. There are three types of second density entities which become, shall we say, enspirited. The first is the animal. This is the most predominant. The second is the vegetable, most especially that which you call sound vibration complex tree. These entities are capable of giving and receiving enough love to become individualized. The third category is mineral. Occasionally a certain location, place as you may call it, becomes energized to individuality through the love it receives and gives in relationship to a third density entity which is in relationship to it. This is the least common transition. Questioner, when this transition from second to third density takes place, how does the entity, whether it be animal, tree, or mineral, become enspirited. I am raw. Entities do not become enspirited. They become aware of the intelligent energy within each portion, cell, or atom, as you may call it, of its beingness. This awareness is that which is awareness of that already given. From the infinite come all densities. The self-awareness comes from within given the catalyst of certain experiences understanding, as we may call this particular energy the upward spiraling of the cell or atom or consciousness. You may then see that there is an inevitable pull towards the, what you may call, eventual realization of self. Questioner, then after the transition into the third density, am I correct in assuming that these entities would then be and will take Earth as an example? Would the entities then look like us? They would be in human form? Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Taking your planetary sphere as an example. Questioner, when the first second density entities became third on this planet, was this with the help of the transfer of beings from Mars, or with their second density entities that evolved into third density with no outside influence? I am raw. There were some second density entities which made the graduation into third density with no outside stimulus but only the efficient use of experience. Others of your planetary second density joined the third density cycle due to harvesting efforts by the same sort of sending of vibratory aid as those of the Confederation send you now. This communication was however, telepathic rather than telepathic vocal or telepathic written due to the nature of second density beings. Questioner, who sent the aid to the second density beings? I am raw. We call ourselves the confederation of planets in the service of the infinite creator. This is a simplification in order to ease the difficulty of understanding among your people. We hesitate to use the term, sound vibration, understanding but it is closest to our meaning. Questioner, then the confederation also aided in second density to third density transition. Is this correct? I am raw. We must qualify correctness of this query. A portion of the confederation which is not working with third density but finds its aid best used in other harvests that is the second density harvest is responsible for aid in these harvests. The confederation, as we have stated previously in these sessions, is composed of many of those in other densities, in your own density, within your planetary sphere, and within the inner or angelic realms. Each of those entities developing a mind-body-spirit complex, 
and then developing a social memory complex, and then dedicating this social memory complex to the singular service to the one creator, may join the confederation questioner, well, did this second density to third density transition take place then 75,000 years ago? Approximate? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, where did the second density beings get physical vehicles of third density type to incarnate into? I am raw. There were among those upon this second density plane those forms which when exposed to third density vibrations became the third density, as you would call sound vibration human, entities. That is, there was loss of the body hair, as you call it the clothing of the body to protect it, the changing of the structure of the neck, jaw, and forehead in order to allow the easier vocalization, and the larger cranial development characteristic of third density needs. This was a normal transfiguration. Questioner, over approximately how long a period of time does was this transfiguration? It must have been very short. I am raw. The assumption is correct, in our terms at least within a generation and one half. As you know these things, those who had been harvested of this planet were able to use the newly created physical complex of chemical elements suitable for third density lessons. Questioner, can you tell me how this new bodily complex was suited to third density lessons and what those lessons were? I am raw. There is one necessity for third density. That necessity is self-awareness, or self-consciousness. In order to be capable of such, this chemical complex of body must be capable of the abstract thought. Thus. The fundamental necessity is the combination of rational and intuitive thinking. This was transitory in the second density forms operating largely upon intuition which proved through practice to yield results. The third density mind was capable of processing information in such a way as to think abstractly and in what could be termed useless ways, in the sense of survival. This is the primary requisite. There are other important ingredients, the necessity for a weaker physical vehicle to encourage the use of the mind the development of the already present awareness of the social complex. These also being necessary, the further development of physical dexterity in the sense of the hand, as you call this portion of your body complex. Questioner, this seems to be a carefully planned or engineered stage of development. Can you tell me anything of the origin of this plan for the development? I am raw. We go back to previous information. Consider and remember the discussion of the logos. With the primal distortion of free will, each galaxy developed its own logos. This logos has complete free will in determining the paths of intelligent energy which promote the lessons of each of the densities given the conditions of the planetary spheres and the sun bodies. Questioner, I will make a statement with respect to my understanding, then, and ask if I am correct. There is a, what I would call, a physical catalyst operating at all times upon the entities in third density. I assume this operated approximately the same way in second density. It's a catalyst that acts through what we call pain and emotion. Is the primary reason for the weakening of the physical body and the elimination of body hair, etc so that this catalyst would act more strongly upon the mind and therefore create the evolutionary process. I am raw. This is not entirely correct, although closely associated with the distortions of our understanding. Consider, if you will, the tree for instance. It is self-sufficient. Consider, if you will, the third density entity. It is self-sufficient only through difficulty and deprivation. It is difficult to learn alone for there is a built-in handicap, at once the great virtue and the great handicap of third density, that is the rational intuitive mind. Thus, the weakening of the physical vehicle, as you call it, was designed to distort entities towards a predisposition to deal with each other. Thus, the lessons which approach a knowing of love can be begun. This catalyst then is shared between peoples as an important part of each self's development as well as the experiences of the self in solitude and the synthesis of all experience through meditation. The quickest way to learn is to deal with other selves. This is a much greater catalyst than dealing with the self. Dealing with the self without other selves is akin to living without what you would call mirrors. Thus, the self cannot see the fruits of its beingness. Thus, each may aid each by reflection. This is also a primary reason for the weakening of the physical vehicle, as you call the physical complex. Questioner, then we have second density beings who have primarily motivation towards service to self and possibly a little bit of service to others with respect to their immediate families going into third density and carrying this bias with them but being in a position now where this bias will slowly be modified to one which is aimed toward a social complex and then ultimately toward union with the all. Am I correct? I am raw. You are correct. 
questioner, then the newest third density beings who've just made the transition from second are still strongly biased towards self-service. There must be many other mechanisms to create an awareness of the possibility of service to others. I am wondering, first two things. I'm wondering about the mechanism and I am wondering when the split takes place where the entity is able to continue on the road towards service to self that will eventually take him to fourth or fifth density. I would assume that an entity can continue can start, say, in second density with service totally to self and continue right on through and just stay on what we would call the path of service to self and never ever be pulled over. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect. The second density concept of serving self includes the serving of those associated with tribe or pack. This is not seen in second density as separation of self and other self. All is seen as self since in some forms of second density entities, if the tribe or pack becomes weakened, so does the entity within the tribe or pack. The new or initial third density entity has this innocent, shall we say, bias or distortion towards viewing those in the family, the society, as you would call, perhaps, country, as self. Thus though a distortion not helpful for progress in third density, it is without polarity. The break becomes apparent when the entity perceives other selves as other selves and consciously determines to manipulate other selves for the benefit of the self. This is the beginning of the road of which you speak. Questioner, then, through free will, sometime in the third density experience, the path splits and an entity consciously probably does not consciously choose. Does an entity consciously choose this path at the initial splitting point? I am raw. We speak in generalities which is dangerous for always inaccurate. However, we realize you look for the overview. So we will eliminate anomalies and speak of majorities. The majority of third density beings is far along the chosen path before realization of that path is conscious. Questioner. Can you tell me what bias creates their momentum toward the chosen path of service to self? I am raw. We can speak only in metaphor. Some love the light. Some love the darkness. It is a matter of the unique and infinitely various creator choosing and playing among its experiences as a child upon a picnic. Some enjoy the picnic and find the sun beautiful, the food delicious, the games refreshing, and glow with the joy of creation. Some find the night delicious, their picnic being pain, difficulty sufferings of others, and the examination of the perversities of nature. These enjoy a different picnic. All these experiences are available. It is free will of each entity which chooses the form of play, the form of pleasure. Questioner, I assume that an entity on either path can decide to choose paths at any time and possibly retrace steps, the path changing being more difficult the farther along is gone. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect. The further an entity has, what you would call, polarized. The more easily this entity may change polarity, for the more power and awareness the entity will have. Those truly helpless are those who have not consciously chosen but who repeat patterns without knowledge of the repetition or the meaning of the pattern. Questioner, I believe we have a very, very important point here. It then seems that there is an extreme potential in this polarization the same as there is in to make an analogy, using electricity, we have a positive and negative pole. The more you build the charge on either of these, the greater the potential difference and the greater the ability to do work, as we call it, in the physical. This would seem to me to be the exact analogy that we have in consciousness here. Is this correct? I am raw. This is precisely correct. Questioner, well, this would seem then that there is a relationship then between what we perceive as physical phenomena, say the electrical phenomena, and the phenomena of consciousness, and that they, having stemmed from the one creator, are practically identical but have slightly different actions as we tape ends. Is this correct? I am raw. Again we oversimplify to answer your query. The physical complex alone is created of many, many energy or electromagnetic fields interacting due to intelligent energy. The mental configurations or distortions of each complex further adding fields of electromagnetic energy and distorting the physical complex patterns of energy. The spiritual aspect serving as a further complexity of fields which is of itself perfect but which can be realized in many distorted and unintegrated ways by the mind and body complexes of energy fields. Thus, instead of one, shall we say, magnet with one polarity you have in the body-mind-spirit complex one basic polarity expressed in what you would call violet ray energy, the sum of the energy fields, but which is affected by thoughts of all kinds generated by the mind complex by distortions of the body complex, 
and by the numerous relationships between the microcosm which is the entity and the macrocosm in many forms which you may represent by viewing the stars, as you call them, each with a contributing energy ray which enters the electromagnetic web of the entity due to its individual distortions. Questioner, is this then the root of what we call astrology? I am wrong. This will be the last full question of this session. The root of astrology, as you speak it, is one way of perceiving the primal distortions which may be predicted along probability possibility lines given the, shall we say, cosmic orientations and configurations at the time of the entrance into the physical mental complex of the spirit and at the time of the physical mental spiritual complex into the illusion. This then has the possibility of suggesting basic areas of distortion. There is no more than this. The part astrology plays is likened unto that of one root among many. Questioner, I just have two little questions here at the end. The instrument wanted me to ask if there was any other substances, foods, etc., that she should not eat or drink or anything she should not do because she does not wish to have poor contact for any reason. I am wrong. There is no activity which this instrument engages in which affects its abilities negatively. There is one activity which affects its abilities positively. This is the sexual activity, as you would call it. There are substances ingested which do not aid the individual in the service it has chosen, this being that which you would call the marijuana. This is due to the distortion towards chemical lapses within the mind complex causing lack of synaptic continuity. This is a chemical reaction of short duration. This instrument, however, has not used this particular substance at any time while performing this service. We believe we have covered the use of such chemical agents as LSD, this being positive to a certain extent due to the energizing or speeding up of the vital forces. However, it is not recommended for this instrument due to the toll it takes upon the vital energies once the substance wears off. This being true of any speeding up chemical questioner, the only other question I have is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable and, is it want to ask about another session, but I guess it's too late today. I didn't realize. I am wrong. This instrument is well aligned. You are being very conscientious. We request you take more care in being assured that this instrument is wearing footwear of what you would call sound vibratory complex shoes. I am wrong. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. And of session 19.